Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another By Request song tutorial. In today's session, I'm back to teaching another beginner-friendly country western song in Willie Nelson's 1980 classic, On the Road Again. So this is a really cool song, it's got some interesting chord changes, an essential country style rhythm, and of course I'm going to break down all of Willie's licks in the guitar solo section. I got a full tab and a chord sheet for you at patreon.com slash lessons. Support the channel there and gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now let's get started with a full demonstration of the tune, you're going to see what you can figure out using your ear and your musical intuition, then we can jump into the instructional segments. Let's get started. One, two, one, two, three, four. On the road again I just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Going places I have never been Seeing things that I may never see again and I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Like a band of gypsies we go down the highway We're the best of friends Insisting that the world keep turning our way And our way is on the road again I just can't wait to get on the road again the life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again Gypsies, we go down the highway We're the best of friends Insisting that the world keep turning our way And our way is on the road again I just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again I can't wait to get on the road again Okay, close look at the prep board, getting started with our intro section. We're in standard tuning, the key of E major. And we're starting off with an E major chord fretted, and a little bit of hammer on action. The intro sounds like this. A little bit slower. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to hear, and we're basically just doing a hammer-on on the A string, second fret, as we fret that E major chord. And then we're going to play a down-up, followed by the low E string open, and then another down-up. Okay, focus in those strums on the high strings. Hammer, down-up, bass, down-up, hammer, down-up, bass, down-up. Okay, now, each one of those bass notes is a quarter, so one, two, three, four. All right, we need to double that to complete the intro section. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then that'll get you into the verse. Okay, very good everybody. You have the intro section down, and now we're jumping into the first verse. This is going to be played just a little bit differently than the preceding verses. So let's get the progression down first. We're gonna start off with the E major chord. You're gonna have that for two measures, followed by two measures of G sharp dominant seven. Bar in the fourth fret, I've got the A string sixth fret, and I've got the uh, G string fifth fret. And of course I have chord diagrams available for you at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. On to one measure of F sharp minor. Okay, bar in the second fret, got the 4th fret of the A string, and also the D string. 
All right, then a split measure between A major, B dominant seven, and then we're back to the E major chord for one measure before going into the second verse. Okay, so now let's talk about how we're gonna strum this thing. So getting started with that E major chord, the beginning of the progression, we can keep that alternating bass pattern going. But we're gonna throw in a walk up to the G sharp dominant seven chord, just for this first verse, okay? So we have the E major chord, we can play A, E, A, down up, E, down up, one, two, three, and four, and. Just like that, grabbing the F sharp on the second fret of the low E string. Okay, let's try that if we can keep that hammer on going, that'll sound a little bit cooler. So we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two. All right, now we're on the G sharp dominant seven chord. Let's switch up our bass notes. So we have the low E string, down up, A string, down up, E string, down up, A string, down up. Repeat. Two measures of this G sharp seven chord. All right, now we're ready to move on to one measure of the F sharp minor chord, same exact strumming pattern, E string to the A string. All right, followed by that split measure of the A major chord to the B dominant seven, we're gonna play A string down up, E string down up. Go to a B dominant seven chord, bass down up, up to the E string down up, and then back to the E major chord. All right, where we're going to be playing E string to A string for the remainder of the song on that E major chord shape. Put all that together and we've got the E major chord starting on the A string. Second measure, one, two, three, four, and G sharp. Three, four, one, two, three, four, F sharp minor. Jump it up, an E major chord, A string. On the road again. All right, now we're ready to jump into verse number two. Okay, very good everybody. You have the intro, the first verse complete. Now, let's change up our technique just a little bit for verse number two. It's gonna sound like this at a slow tempo. One, two, three, on the road again. I have never been Seeing things that I may never see again And I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Okay, so all that was fairly simple. We're starting off on that E major chord, but this time we're going to alternate E string to A string. Now you can do that for two beats, then throw in an optional E major arpeggio lick that you hear in the original track. It's gonna sound like this, so. One, two, three, and four, and one. And then just back to the E chord for more strumming. Okay, so, bass, down, up, bass, down, up. Slide up to the fifth fret of the B string. Four on the G, six on the D, seven on the A string, then the low E string, open, as you fret the E major chord and complete your two measures of E major. You count that out and we have one more time. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and... Now to the G sharp dominant seven, where we're gonna do something similar. Go to that G sharp dominant seven, bass, down, up, bass, down, up, Bass down a bass down a bass, completing the two measures there as well. Okay, so hit the E string, down up, A string, down up, strum the chord. Now grab the B string, G string, D string, and then to the low E string to start the next measure. So one, two, three. From there, it's going to be verbatim, just like the first verse, the F sharp minor chord. Bass, down a bass, down a bass, down a bass, down a. A split measure between the A and the B dominant seven. Bass, down a 
Bass, down, up, B7, bass, down, up, grab an F sharp, and then back home to the E major chord for one measure. On the road again, to get you into the chorus section. Okay, well done everybody. You have the intro, the first verse, the second verse complete. Now we're jumping into a very simple chorus section. Starting with an A major chord, it's gonna sound like this at a slow tempo. One, two, three. On the road again. Like a band of gypsies, we go down the highway. We're the best of friends. Insisting that the world keep turning our way. And then stop just like that, that space will get you into the third verse. Okay, so we had the A major chord for two measures. Strumming A string down, E string down, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. Followed by one measure of the E chord, starting with that E string, E string, A, E, A. Back to the A major chord, again, two measures, best of friends. That the world keep turning. All right, repeat the E major chord one measure. Away and away. All right, finally that B dominant seven chord is going to get bass down, down, up, down, up, stop. All right, to complete that chorus section. Okay, excellent work, everybody. You have the intro, you have the verse sections, and the chorus is complete. Now we're gonna jump into learning Willie's guitar solo. It's gonna be played over top of the verse chords. It sounds like this. One, two, three, and. Okay, that's going to repeat twice to get you into another chorus section. Okay, breaking down the guitar solo, getting started with the first lick. Before we jump in, I want you to know that all of the licks have the high E string droning over top of it. At least that's how I'm kind of mimicking the sound of that harmony that you hear in the original track. Um, and so I'm just gonna show it to you first with just the B string, then we'll add in that open E string to drone over top. Okay, so the first lick's gonna sound like this. Okay, so that was zero, zero on the B string. And then we're gonna play eight, nine. First hammering up to the ninth fret, then playing that same note once again. Okay, you could throw in some vibrato if you like. All right, then your next lick's gonna sound like this. Okay, so that was nine, eight, nine, Nine with a bend, half step, back down to nine, and then a hammer and a pull. Before going to the ninth fret of the G string. So the hammer pull is seven, up to nine, back down to seven, then to the ninth fret of the G string. You put that together and we've got. All right, then we're gonna follow that up with all right, a hammer, seven up to nine on the B string, ninth fret, and then finally one more time with a little bit of vibrato. That's your first line of music if you're following along using my tablature. Okay, put all that together and add in the high E string droning, and we've got. Okay, now on to the second line of tablature. This part's going to begin just by repeating the second lick. All right, then over the F sharp minor, we're going to play. Okay, just the B string. All right, so I slid away, nine, going to six. So slide away to the sixth fret of the B string. All right, then we're going to play seven, six, seven, followed by seven, nine, walking up to the 10th fret, 
as the A major chord comes in. Okay, so over the F sharp minor. That was some slightly simplified phrasing. He kind of speeds up there. All right, then walking up. Finally, your last lick is going to sound like this. Okay, just the B string. 10. Okay, so 10, 10, 10, 10. A hammer pull. 9, 10, back to 9. All right, so, so far. All right, then we're gonna go to the seventh fret of the B string. Down to four, and then up to five. Okay, you put that together with the E string droning, we've got. Now sometimes because I have the E string droning, I feel more comfortable doing more downstrokes than I ordinarily would. Okay, you put that entire solo together, and you've got one, two, three, four, and. Slide. Okay, if you've got that, then you're ready to move in to basically the very end of the song. Because after this, we're going to have a repeat of the chorus that's just played verbatim like the other chorus. And then after that, we're going to have verse 4, which is going to have a little lick at the end just to close up shop. Okay, very good everybody. You have the intros, you have the verse, you have the chorus, you have the guitar solo sections complete. Now we're just gonna learn how to close up shop. We're on verse number four, ending the tune, repeating the phrase. I can't wait to get on the road again. Repeat that. And I can't wait to get on the road again. And we play. All right, that great little lick just to finish up the tune. Let's break that down. Okay, so that lick one more time real slow. It starts with the E chord. One, two, three, and four, and. Little E arpeggio, followed by the E major chord in any position that you like. Okay, so breaking down this outro lick, we're just going to learn it on the B string by itself, then add in the drone string again. Okay, so the first phrase that you can tackle is... Okay, so coming out of that E chord, one, two, three, and four, and... Okay, so that was seven, nine, then hammer, nine up to ten, 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 and then pull off, 10 down the nine. So far you have. All right, next we're gonna play. That was nine, nine. And then hammer, pull off. All right, that was a hammer pull, right? One motion. And then slide down to seven. Okay, you put that in there and we have. All right, then from there we're gonna play seven, nine, seven, down to four, and then up to five to finish that phrase. Okay, put all that together and we've got. You add in the open E string and it sounds like this. Okay, if you can do that, then you're ready for the last little part. Okay, so that was the ninth fret of the G string, the B string, then up to the B string 12th fret, and then to the high E string 12th fret. E major arpeggio. Then finally, the E major chord to finish up the tune. Okay, put all that together and we have the E major. Walk. Okay, and as you can see, I like to finish up with this version of the E major chord. I'm barring the 7th fret, low E string, 
to high E string, and then I'm barring across the D string, G string, and B string to get a nice thick sound, okay, for the E major chord. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this Willie Nelson guitar lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash with lessons. I hope you're all enjoying those extra resources. And thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in. Please subscribe, please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.